What's up and welcome back everybody. Here we are high in the Hebra sky and we found this giant castle thing. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I don't know if we're gonna go in and we're gonna get completely destroyed and then we're gonna have to go somewhere else, but we're gonna try it and we're gonna see what it's all about. Oh, we're getting denied? You who set foot in this labyrinth of the sky. Go to the labyrinth of the land. Deep within its corridors, a dragon ring sleeps, awaiting with the one who will wake it. So go to the labyrinth of the land. Hey, this is like anti-gravity up here. Cool. So where's the labyrinth of the land? Maybe it's below? Below us? Let's check it out. Hold on a second. There we go. Now we got a little more wind control. North Lome Labyrinth. Hebra Mountain Sky. Are we still technically in the sky? No, I think we're on the ground. Let's jump in. And we need to get this thing out of here, right? I wish we had something... Oh, maybe we have a flame emitter. Let's check. Yeah, we do. We just need to fuse it with something. Um, let's see what we got. Traveler's Claymore Sword. Bacoblin Arm Spear. Bacoblin Arm Sword. Let's break this Bacoblin Arm Sword. Okay, so that's equipped. There we go. You know what's cool is that's the uh, Lost Woods music from the last game. There we go. Nope. Oh, is this as close as I can have it to me? Or it just won't fit out? It's that! Was that icicle up there? Why is this such a pain to get out of here? That icicle's still blocking it. Now we got it. Sheesh! All this for what? Let's see. Ooh, that looks good. Never mind. I take everything back. This looks powerful. So let's see. We could attach something good to this. Like, how about... This blue boss bacoblin horn. Whoop, whoop. Easy. <laughs> Woo! Nice. 26. That's huge. 
Okay, let's uh, let's switch back to a different weapon. Got to figure out how to get out of here now. Now we're now we're in it. Well, we can definitely get out with the sand over there if we get stuck. I don't know if we could even climb. Oh, we can climb this. We're blocked by gloom. Oh, no, we're not. This is awesome. Whoa, there's a shrine in here. Research log, day four. I've done it. At long last, I've done it. I found a relic of the Zonai civilization. Though my euphoria is short-lived, in the hours since my discovery, I've tried touching, hitting, and yelling at the relic, but it remains unresponsive. I'm starting to fear that I may not unravel the secrets of the Zonai after all. The thought makes the cold even more bitter. Well, fine, I suppose it's time to crawl out of this frigid pit and issue my report on my investigation. Now we've gotten somewhere. North Lome Chasm. Whoa. Crazy cool. I just found a shrine and a chasm at the same time. That's amazing. I, I feel like there's gonna be something inside all of these ice rocks, which is definitely not true. Hey, we could use these, huh? Let's recharge. Maybe just activating this will melt that ice? Let's try it. What does this do? For you who conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, the ruler of owls, have unlocked a door. Find it on the west side of the labyrinth of the sky. Oh, did we just solve this whole labyrinth? No way. Maya Otaki Shrine. Let's check it out. We'll be able to warp right back here if we want to. There's a chasm entrance here. We got a shrine. I think we might have unlocked that giant labyrinth castle tower thing in the sky too. There is so much going on. This is awesome. Cool, so this one's just a blessing. I think we just got so super lucky. Oh, a diamond does 25 fuse attack power? That's massive. We're getting some good stuff in here now. So cool. Yeah, I don't know if this castle thing, maybe we're way above our... <laughs> way above where we're supposed to be. I don't know. That's part of the cool part of this game. It's it's actually hard, so you can wander into areas that you are just... not really ready for yet. Strength-wise. So this just must be like the rest of the labyrinth. If you wander in here, you're like, uh... You first walk in and you see this, but you can't access it. But we still never unlocked the chasm. How do we unlock the way to the chasm? Maybe we do that from above? I think we should go straight to the sky. Let's do it. All right, here we are. Heber Mountain Sky. 
Let's see if this thing actually lets us in now. To you who set foot in, the, in my labyrinth of the sky, I offer a test of wisdom. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate them all. This is so cool. What? This is huge. It's windy over here. So it's like anti-gravity. Can I just fall? Nope, we still get hurt if we just fall. So it's a huge maze in the sky. It's in huge it's a huge anti-gravity maze. So we should try to kind of keep track about where we are. So we're like right in the middle here. So if we go right, that's kind of like a dead end maybe. Oh, but we don't know where we can go by and where we can't over these walls. That makes it extra tricky, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Can we go under this? So we just went... Wonder if the terminals could be in the corner? This is it. Wonder if there's one in each corner. So there's one. Three remain. All right, let's go back to the map. There's probably one there, one there. And one there would be my guess. So can we get through this way? Maybe not. Let's go back. It looks like we can go back to the center. That's a dead end. And we can't get up there. That's a dead end, too. Um, which way to the corner? So I need to go the other way. So we go right, left, right. Left. Just keep following our way into the end corner here. Oh, we found a treasure. Awesome. Mighty Zonite Longsword. Awesome. Um, is this a dead end? Yeah, that's a dead end. We're still trying to make our way over here, so I think we need to go... We messed this up, right? But maybe getting back to the center is the way to get over there.
There it is. Oh no, that's the beginning. Well, there's one in the middle, so how do we get in the middle? That's not immediately obvious. No, sir. Well, I think we searched everything over here, so we need to go this way now. Yeah. These are all like dead ends. This maze is tougher than I originally thought it was gonna be. Did I make it in the middle somehow? I guess because I went higher. That one shot, one wind gust shot you way up into the air. Wrong side. So if we come straight through here, no, but we can't, right? This one took us way up. This is the way we need to go, though. Making our way to this other corner. We can't. Um. We need to go the way I'm facing. Yeah, this is the way. So there could be a treasure or something here. Let's go behind us and then go left. I'm trying to use the mini map best I can. No. Doesn't look like anything's here. So to go back, we gotta go right. And then in here we want to go right after we right after we pass this. This is it. Booyah. That's 3. Awesome. One more. So it's going to be up to the right somewhere. We need to go through here to get to it. Um, there could be a treasure over this way. Let's check it. Nope. Treasure. No. There we go. Had to recover some stamina. But I think this is it. Oh, nice, another treasure. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Oh. 
I think it's gonna be in here. Ha ha! That was awesome. So I wonder what's gonna happen now. Oh, we gotta get on top. How do we do that? Oh, they got wind gusts going up here now. So cool. That was awesome. You who have traversed this maze, mark well my words. I have pulled apart the bars in the labyrinth of the land that obstructed your path below ground. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. The final way shall open to you. Man, this is so cool. So we must be right above it. Right above the entrance to the depths. Let's do it. This is so cool. <laughs> North Lome Chasm, Hebra Mountain Depths. Oops, I didn't realize I was so close to the ground. North Lome Depths Labyrinth. What? This is still going. There's another labyrinth down here. Oh man, this is awesome. This is like gaming heaven right here. We gotta get to the bright bulbs, bulbs though. Bright blooms. We got no map down here either. Everything looks the same, so we might as well just pick a direction, right? Hey, didn't I buy some stuff that could... Or uh, cook some stuff that could help me out here. Fuse attack power most used by type. Yeah, here we go. Each of these will have us glow for eight minutes. What's the recipe again? Okay. Let's drink one of these bright elixirs. See what it does. <sighs> Oh wow, that actually is pretty good. It's almost like having a torch on you. Going down. Whoa, Flux Construct 2, what? Holy cow. That thing is strong. So it looks like we gotta maybe hit it. Those are weak points. Let's get a stronger bow equipped here. Whoa! Let's get a bomb at the ready for this now. Oh, that did some damage. Oh, 
Oh no! We didn't have any fairies. Man, this guy is hard. So it looks like this guy is just gonna one-shot us. Okay, we are not quite strong enough for this guy yet, but we're gonna keep going at we're gonna keep going at him. We're gonna try to beat him. Whew. So if we dodge that attack. Do we even hit that thing? There we go. Oh, we broke him. So we got his weakness now. We're using our boss bacob blue boss bacoblin weapon with like a master zoni thing. The problem is we can't we can't get hit by this guy because we're so weak. Oh, I thought we had him there. Oh, he got me. Darn it. This guy is so hard. Can we use like an ability on him? That is awesome. <laughs> so can we use, we might be able to use Ultra Hand on that too then, that means. How is he walking? Yeah, look at that. So we could deconstruct him. That's how we do this. Let's throw some light in here too. Where the heck's our light? Whoa! Well, oh, I got an idea. Maybe we could use recall when he does that. Go ahead, try it again, I dare ya. That's not doing it. Oops. 
Darn it. Okay, I think we're figuring this guy out. We're figuring out a way to beat him, but... Oh, I just thought of it. I just thought of it. For that part, what you got to do is use recall, then jump on one of those boxes so that you can get on top of them. Okay, so let's heal. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Got a good shield, good bow. Our defense doesn't really matter because if he hits us once, we'll just die. Let's... Throw the large bright bloom out, and then we're gonna start this battle. And now we have a plan. Hey, what's this? Enox horn. We should have attached that to one of these weapons. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That didn't alert him. Maybe to this mighty Zonite sword. Let's drop um. Enox horn. That's twelve fuse attack power. Man, so the boss Bacoblin Horn was actually stronger than that. 25. <laughs> Let's use it. <laughs> 35, this weapon. Diamond Sword. <sighs> Alright, let's come in strong. Two hits there. Three hits. You're gonna fall apart, dude. You're gonna take your legs apart. close. Where is he? Oh no. Can't find it. It's all the way over here. Pretty good shot. We got half his health down. Alright, so we know what to do here now. Ah, oh, missed it. It's all right, it's all right. You gotta be closer when he's about to do that attack. Yes! Here it is. We're gonna get this thing. We're so close. Okay, now he's doing this box move again. I think we could use Ultra Hand for this. That's where we have a second to start diffusing him. You just gotta get out of the way when he does that move. Yes! This could be it! Did we get him? Woo! Ha 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 ha! We got him! What a battle! Oh, that was awesome! What are these? Large Zoni charges? Large crystallized charge equal to 20 normal charges. 
time bomb. A Zonai device for a timed explosion. Its blast can activate other Zonai devices. And we got a rocket. What is this? What are we supposed to do with that? Can we fuse it? Um. Maybe we could fuse it to this? Whoa. <laughs> 57, that's a pretty strong weapon. All right, let's see if we could activate this now. We couldn't do it before we fought the construct. You who have traversed this labyrinth of the depths. This trial was a test of your talents. In overcoming it, you have shown yourself to be strong of body, skill, and mind. In my name as ruler of the owls, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Armor wreathed in otherworldly evil, hidden away since days of old. Take it now. This is awesome. The North Lobe Prophecy complete. Evil Spirit Greaves, cool. Some believe these Greaves are inspired by a malevolent entity. Entity, They're a rather rare find. So cool. Evil Spirit Greaves. This is a different way than we came in. We're in the depths here now. So you could have gotten here from the depths. We just came a different path. Wow, nice bow. that. Oh, it's just a Picoblin. So I wonder what else is down here. We came from one of these top, um, up high spots off the top of the ladder. So we could have came in here from the depths from any direction like this. I wonder if every entrance has a treasure. Soldier spear, powerful Zonai spear. <laughs> we might have just beat like a late, later game hidden boss. It wasn't easy because we had to do it without getting hit. Soldier blade. We gotta drop something. Let's drop this. I keep looking out there to see if I see a light route nearby. I mean, we could get back here pretty quickly if we wanted to, though. Because there's that shrine that's above. Oh, is that a light route? No, no, no. 
Just a couple of bad guys. Oh, we got Fuse equipped. That's why I was so confused. It's not working. Soldier 3 Reaper. Sweet. We're getting some bomb weapons now. Um, Man, we might have to drop something actually kind of decent. I'm going to drop this one. We got some killer weapons here. What if we climb back up? Could there be more treasure like in the upper part of this? Or do they all maybe lead, they all probably just lead back to the center where we started. Yep. Fully explored. All right guys, we're gonna end this one here. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was a lot of fun, ton of fun. That's just like so amazing. The sense of discovery in this game and surprise, like you just, you finish something really cool and you're like, that's awesome. Wouldn't it be so awesome if it kept going? And then there's another labyrinth on the ground and then you're like, oh, that's awesome. Wouldn't it be so cool if it keeps going? And then you go all the way down to the depths and there's another labyrinth with an ultra awesome boss to fight that's super hard in the dark and it gives you some really cool armor after you beat it. That is just so awesome. All right guys, take it easy and I'll see you in the next episode. Later. <laughs>